<sighs> boy, oh boy. Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and how all my adventure is doing. So, um, holy shit, we're doing a revisit to the secret world. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm just gonna go around and be completely honest with all you guys about this game. And how I had, like, the biggest, huge expectation for this game. And I was severely let, let down afterwards. So, yeah. Anywho, um, this game, I had, like, high expectations for when it first, like, released. And it was, it was fun for a while. But it was, like, one of those tab-targeting MMOs. When I saw the trailer, I was like, holy shit, is this an MMO that um, pretty much is a first-person shooter? It was not. It was not a first-person shooter at all. It was literally just tab-targeted. I mean, they changed it to where it's somewhat action-oriented now. But I think everybody was looking forward to it. And the way it was like looked in design... It looked like it was going to be a horror shooter. And it, it turned out to be a horror shooter, but not in the way we wanted it to. Because I was looking forward to, like, you know, first person type oriented combats where we use guns and shit. Yeah, that, that probably would have been the better route. To be honest, once it released. But we didn't get that. <laughs> we did not get that at all. What we got was this. Because I will say this. I enjoyed this um, these developers um, horror game that they had made. And that's what gave me the big expectation for trying out the secret world. And it was um, the park. The park was actually a really fun playthrough for me. Probably one of my uh, top favorite horror games that I actually enjoy just because I enjoy like, you know, you know, the kind of psychological type shit. And their story actually wasn't that bad. I love the insane characters and stuff like that. And it was kind of spooky. It wasn't like extremely scary. It was just like unsettling type shit. And it was telling the story. But, um... I will say this, this game definitely does have some, you know, spooky horror shit, you know, a lot of Da Vinci Code motherfucking shit to where you have to go inside of a, inside of a computer and everything, you have to go to different websites to solve puzzles and shit, it, it, it was insane, I enjoyed it for a while, but it never really peaked beyond like 3,000 players really. So on launch day, it was, it was not really that scarce, but it was that scarce, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Like for those of you guys who actually played on the release date, like I did, you know, expecting a lot from the game, and we're also disappointed as as much as I was. There's also lag because everything's loading in, as you can see at the top right next to my X SP. Every time a little loading symbol's going on. Oh god, where'd you come from? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they had, like, really confusing combat, too, because it, it was technically MMO-related. But, now that it's action-oriented, I would say it's a lot better than it was. But, dude, if this game would have opened up as, like, a first-person shooter to where you rely on your actual aim, you know, bullets and shit, like, actually taking in the whole world, this game would have been, like, so fucking successful. Because there have been so many games that have taken off, like, fucking, uh, what was it, Firefall? Firefall was, like, really amazing. And... Then the devs decided to do the fucking stupidest route and give it over to a Chinese company that really ruined the fucking game. 
and it shut down. So yeah, rip Firefall. Firefall was amazing. I would still probably be playing it to this day if it wasn't for that, because there aren't many open world MMOs with first person shooters. You know, at least let me switch from first to third, you know, that type of shit. I'm pretty sure there is first person for this now from the last time I played it, maybe. Hold on, let me check the settings. We gotta, we gotta see some controls here. Not sure if you can actually fight in it, though. But yeah, if it would have been like an actual, like, shooter combat, FPS combat, yeah, I feel like this game would have took off. But the thing is, they release with the whole model that never works out for, like, games that don't have, like, a huge fan base or, like, a huge franchise type shit. You know, if Final Fantasy released something like this, the, the, everybody would be all over it. Let's just say that because everybody knows what Final Fantasy is. And technically they have because it's Final Fantasy, like, 15, right? Whichever one that's online. And people are actually still playing that because it's a franchise that everybody knows. But when it came to the Secret World, they released with a pay-to-play model. Yeah, which, in my opinion, wasn't the right choice, but they recent, well, I can't even say recently, they went free to play, and I don't think the numbers have really jumped up since then at all, unfucking fortunately because this game could have been amazing, like, I feel like I put my hopes into something that that released half you know half cooked oh, whoops and pfft, I did lose all my stuff but I kind of regained it back I think like I think they did something with my character when they like swapped how the combat worked in the game no oh. Like I said, this game is really good for those who like to solve clues and shit. Who love, like, really difficult fucking puzzles. Who like to go, like, fucking case clothes or Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> because everything was not easy. It was not easy to quest in this game. And, that, and I enjoyed that aspect. I really did. It's just the combat that I didn't enjoy, really. And I say, even when they changed it to this, I wasn't a huge fan of it because it was one of those logic, logical MMOs to where you could take damage no matter what. <laughs> and you had to build tank or damage. You, if you kill an enemy, you don't take too much damage. If you, if you build tank, you can take a lot of damage or deal a little bit of damage. But, you, <sighs> eh, man. Just looking at this, man. No, nobody's around anymore. I don't even know what's going on. It's probably just high levels just going around. And plus, most of the time you did want to like be in a party too. Because, like I said, don't get me wrong. I love the Secret World universe. I really do. It's just that it's not too much to it for the MMO. I did plan on playing their um, release with well, a recent game, which was like To the Moon, I think. That was also based in this universe. Because, like I said, I, I love the Secret War universe because they had like, um, what was it? They had the Halloween Jack tell, I think. Jack o' Lantern, nah, that's what it was. I haven't done Halloween shit in like so long. I keep forgetting. And I loved all their creature designs. I loved the bosses and shit, too. <sighs> Man. Look at this. Feels bad, dude. Animations were, are kind of janky, too, from what you've seen from the combat as well. That's why I say, like, first-person shooter would have been better. And then you guys will be like, oh, what about the costumes? Well, maybe switch between third-person and first-person. You know, <laughs> yeah, at least you're relying on your aim and having a lot more fun, you know? 
Yeah, instead of your bullets doing like not even shooting that direction, you know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> There's just a lot that threw me off. Ah, I miss this world though. I really do. Where did all the NPCs go? What the fuck? Wasn't there people at the skate park? I remember this mission. Because I remember doing this and it was something about the FBI agents ban and I had to go onto a website in order to see their shit too. <sighs> I don't know how many times I just sighed. I just realized like, dude, the wasted potential of this fucking game just disappoints me. Like, <sighs> A horror MMO with questing, combat, spooky like tells and stories. Combat that probably would have worked better in FPS. I'm just saying. I'm just, I'll, I'll keep bringing it up because that's what we all thought it was gonna be. It's basically getting fucking um. What was it? Uh. <laughs> It was that Viking game that released, and we all thought it was going to be like a survival game, but it actually turned out to be more of a fucking tower defense. Uh, it, it released last year. I haven't played it in like so fucking long. <laughs> yeah, damn it. My sadness is like unmeasurable, dude. Because this was definitely one of my like other go to like games to play. Right next to um, Dragon Ball Hunter, which also closed down, and I really enjoy Dragon Ball Hunter. I tried to get on like another server. Oh, Tribe of Midgard. That's what it was. Tribe of Midgard. We all thought Tribe of Midgard was gonna literally be like a actual roguelike to where we're going around and shit, but it actually in survival. But it 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 got the survival part, but it's fucking tower defense. <laughs> We thought we were going to have to build our own town and crap out of that. But uh, back to the game. <laughs> it, it had, like, a lot of, like, spells and shit. And I think people went, like... I mainly always see people use, like, the same build most of the time. I've seen a lot of people use blood magic most of the time, too. And it was mostly assault rifle but i played assault rifle and i hated it because every time i hit one enemy I, I just hit the whole party and you know aoe is great and all it just doesn't help if you don't kill any <laughs> kill anything fast enough because then all that damage comes in and you get fucking railed and look at this look at this this whole this is just the first area and there was like so much shit to this I remember getting over here, and that was like, wasn't this like the succubus part? No, it was like a school I got to, and there was like a succubus part. I think it's past this area, actually. Or is this like the motels and type shit? I actually don't remember. I actually want to go check that out now. Mm. Would I say I will return to Secret World? Probably not. I just wanted to revisit it and see what's been going on. And it, it seems like it's just been dead, really. Which makes me want to look at the Steam charts and see if there's anybody on right now. And what, what was the last peak it went to? Because I remember it didn't have like a lot of players, though. That was, that was the only sad part. Ah, the secret world... Steam. Steam charts. Okay, I was right. There's only 75 people playing at the moment. 24 hour peak was 100. And that peak of all time was 3,740. 
man. Ow. Ow. Yeah, you guys see why I call this game, like, pretty much dead? Like, I'm still saying this game has potential. Stop following me. Stop doing the things you do. I'm exploring the damn map of places that I don't remember or haven't been. See, you see what I mean, motherfucker? Just hitting me out of nowhere. You're not even that close to me. Fuck you. <laughs> But yeah, if this would have became like action combat, psh, perfect, perfection. People would have, you know, hovered to it. Because who doesn't want like a spooky game like The Secret World with all of The Secret World's like tales and spooky stories and playing fucking detective? Like, come on. I, I know I repeated this like probably two or three times, but who doesn't want that? <laughs> Hmm. But then again, I, I think the Secret World released around a time where not many people were into MMOs as well. I think if it were to release now, more people would have been interested, considering the gaming industry has been dry as fuck. <laughs> Now it's starting to, you know, show some rain, you know, throwing some of that drizzle. But yeah, I, I think it just released like way too early, in my opinion. Like playing it now. Yeah, it definitely could have been cool. Hmm. I know some dude. Wait. Didn't there, wasn't there some dude that, um, made, like, a rogue, like, a third person? No, a first person mod. Uh, Secret World. First person. Yeah, see, this this is more like it. That that's what I remember doing. It was control uh, mouse wheel, but this is what it looks like in first person. <laughs> no, no, like guns popping up on a map, and me seeing like all the like cool gun movements and shit like that i'm not relying on them you know i'm just gonna step on it it ended you know this makes me feel happy because this is this is literally how i feel <laughs> not to mention the, the world was empty as fuck but that made sense because there's like mutants and shit going around and killing people. And the FBI here was like keeping everybody alive and secured and shit like that. You know, and a whole bunch of factions and shit. But somehow you still ended up working together with other factions, so it wasn't kind of like um, World of Warcraft where we just fucking hate each other. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. <laughs> These little lights right here were like basically respawn once you die you come to one of these glowing portals you know sort of like checkpoints that, that was your that was basically your punishment for dying you had to walk all the way to a fucking glowing light Yes. This makes me happy. I don't know why. Stop healing. <laughs> Let it happen. Damn. Oh god, I can't get out. No. Stop healing. <laughs> yeah, outside of combat healing was amazing. 
That's only if you can get ever get outside of fucking combat and when you're starting fighting enemies and shit. Now then. Now you're in the spirit realm. Oh wow, they take you to the well now. The closest well. Or you can go all the way to your body and resurrect on your body. I think it was the closest well that they took you to, but you had to go respawn back at your body or respawn at the well, if I remember correctly. But I am surprised that this game is even still going, really. I, I I thought this game would have been, like, closed down, like, so fucking long ago. What is up with you, buddy? Just just walking in circles, enjoying life? All right, dude. All right. I feel it. I feel it. There hasn't been any, like, new guns or anything added, right? Oh, yeah, there was, like, a sprint mode. I forgot about that. But, yeah. I wonder if there's, like... Okay, nah, it's, it's all still the same shit. Blood magic, chaos, fist. Saw so a lot of people that use blade back then. <laughs> yeah, you not. I knew I heard something behind me. Ah, oh, okay, no. Bye. Then there was like little secret, like achievements to look around for as well like back when I had my like first character that dude caught like raids were like a lot of fun but that was the only thing it was raids with the parties I I'm going to tell you guys this now I'm going to be in first person through the rest of this that that's all I can tell you But yeah, there was like sirens, the mutants, there was like jack o' lantern, like I talked about. There was succubus, demons, the kraken as well. That all kinds of like mythology type shit, and that's what I enjoyed. Like nightmare stories, you know. And there's like, where, where's that spooky bridge? That was like the headless horseman type shit. I don't think it's on this map. Oh no, is it this? I think it was this. Oh, I can actually teleport to that. Then there was like this fucking graveyard that was behind a church that kept getting attacked. My eyes. Hello? New me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Remember this area? Then there was, wasn't there like a frosty one? Oh my god. Guys. Why are you so aggressive? Who hurt you? It's about to be me in a few seconds. There. Which one was it? This? Ah, yeah, there, there was some kind of clue with the, like, tombstones. Which, don't get me wrong, was fun to a certain extent. I, I don't know which one it was. Up oh, and the game just crashed. That's, that's twice, actually, that the game has crashed. I just want you to know this, because the first time I tried to record it, it... it crashed and it was just only like two seconds so crashing is now part of this game as well <laughs> i i just don't understand what we're going for with this game though like it, it seemed like it was going down a certain route then it just kind of like downhilled 
Like, when I first saw the trailer, dude, this was like my dream game. And like I said, I saw the combat, then I tried the actual combat, then yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I played for a month, though. I played for a month. I gave them that time. Then the new combat system came out. My character disappeared, so I started a new character. So, yeah. <laughs> Didn't feel like going through the Da Vinci Code again. Really? Because <laughs> one time was enough. I already knew like half the character developments that was in the first area. So I was just like, I don't want to do it a second time. <laughs> now, if... I'm gonna. I'm just gonna keep bringing up the FPS gameplay. Now, if, if they change the gameplay to like straight up, you know, FPS, rely on your aim type shit. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I'll come back, or just release a, a new one, the Secret World Remastered. Yeah, yeah, new one. <laughs> just like um, uh, PSO did. PSO released a second game, and theirs is like, you know different shit from the first one they kept up the original server for pso and now have pso2 which is the, the other one <laughs> that seems more advanced but also still seems somewhat the same but yeah it's just, they can do some shit like that you know just see how well you can do the, you know i'm just gonna end it there i hope you all enjoyed dude I, i'm sorry for the rant and just like being a downer like i should have i should have just played and explored the game i should have just i should have stayed out of my feels dude I'll, I'll give it another like retry at a later date right now this game just seems to be like omega crashing because, actually, now that I think about it, this is the third time it, it, it's crashed. It crashed when I opened it the first time. But I just didn't count that. But, yeah. It's having crashing issues, so I don't know if I want to, like, commit to that. Get into, like, a dungeon and fight the little octopus thing. And um, only just to get crashed again. It's... <laughs> But, yeah. With that said, I hope you all had fun with this little segment. I'm sorry, dude. I'm, I'm such a downer because this game had so much potential. I, I loved it. I loved it for when it came out. It just, just didn't fit my like play style, though. Sadness. It didn't. You all have a good one. Peace out. Is the